everyone and welcome to this video about the International Space Station LEGO set. Just before I get into the video, if I could ask everyone to like and subscribe, that would be amazing, thank you. The price for this set comes in at £59.99 with a part count of 864, meaning the price per piece is 6.94 pence. The set number is 21321. The release date was February 2020, but you've got to be quick if you want to get this set as it's retiring in December 2022, so it's not very long left. Um, the age is 16 plus, with the category being Lego Ideas. Um, the, I, don't, I don't have the box with me, um, but I'm going to attach a photo of the um, box. So on the front there's a realistic orbit photo of the set, um, as it would be in real life. Um, with some blueprints of the ISS on the front. Um, it's quite a stylish little um, design and it makes the whole box stand out as a as a set from all other sets. Um, so then onto the manual, it's got the same photo as the front of the box. Um, and then there's some words about the Inter International Space Station. So if you want to give it a pause, um, I'll just flick through. Um, if you want to give those a more detailed read, if you can't quite read them on here, um, all of the manuals are on the LEGO website for you to take a closer look. Um, so the manual is not the best. The blue background looks quite nice and stylish, um, but it doesn't stand out quite as much as the normal light blue background. Um, so it can be a little hard at times. Um, yeah, it just doesn't pop as much as the, the normal manuals do. Um, so yeah, at times it can be a little bit harder to read. They have put the white boxes in to show the individual building steps. Um, but when the, whenever you're putting a piece on the set itself, it's slightly, slightly harder to see exactly where it needs to go. Um, and then on the back, there's not really any advertising. It just goes straight into the back of the set. And then for the actual set itself, it is a very, very cool little set. Um, there's quite a few play features on it, so these rotate fully, um, which is quite cool. And all of the panels move as well. Um, so if you've got a light, you can pretend it's the sun aiming at them and it looks, makes it look quite, quite cool, um, as they would do in real life. Um, it comes with a mini um, disc uh, NASA Discovery, which is quite cool. Um, so if you have the big NASA Discovery set, it fits very, very nicely by it. Um, so you can have them side by side, which is quite cool. Um, and that just rests simply in the middle there. Um, it's quite a, um, quite a cool little build to put together. You, as you can see, all the modules getting put together and just see how it all co coalesces into one nice bigger piece. Um, it's quite quite cool. Um, it takes around 90 minutes to build, um, so it's quite a lengthy build for the price, um, as it's just as it's just 60 pounds. So for for a 90 minute build, that's quite reasonable, really. Um, what one thing that really really stood out for me? So all of these panel pieces, they're all print pieces. Um, so if if I had seen those with stickers beforehand, I probably wouldn't have bought it at all because putting on every single one of those stickers would have just been absolutely a nightmare. Um, so the fact that they were print pieces and LEGO went to that effort um, made this set so much better than it would have been if it had all been stickers. Um, it definitely would have put me off if it was stickers um, as there's how many 10 plates for each one and there's um, so it would have been almost 200 stickers, if I did the math right. <laughs> um, so it just wouldn't have been wouldn't have been very nice. Um, so yeah, they did a very good job there, um, and it comes with a nice little platform. Um, so it's quite quite a sturdy little platform, but it it's well it's a bit it, it's a bit rickety, but it it does the job. Um, it's kind of hard to put back on as it clicks in. 
um, but yeah it's a really really cool little set um, and if you've got the other space sets it really really sits along them quite nicely as it's it's quite big so it's probably the biggest dimensions wise of all of them um, despite being the smallest in price and pieces um, so it's 20 centimeters by 49 centimeters by 31 centimeters so it is quite a quite a big set um, but the amount of detail they've been able to put on it for the price is extremely good. Um, so I really, really do recommend it for any space collectors or just any LEGO fans in general.